even though it's six songs, your sequencing is amazing. So how do you guys come up with the track order? Well, Ooh. thank you, because we, we pay a lot of attention to that. Um, I don't know. What's interesting about, sorry, guys, I'm not is that um, we, we kind of went through a couple different iterations of it before we landed on like these six songs. Um, and it, it changed a little bit over time. Like, it's funny, like when we did Nothing Happens, I feel like we had an idea from the get go of like how the track list was going to work. But with remote, it was sort of ever changing. And then I feel like it just ended up like where it perfectly belonged. Like, uh, Brayden Cole, I don't know if you remember at one point, we were like, talk like that was going to close it for a second in time. Or like, there was going to be a song that's not on it now that was going to be right out of virtual aerobics before the other. And like, other songs were leading into each other. It was just like, it had different forms. But I think this, what we landed on is, is the perfect, is the best version we could have had. So, yeah, I think we just like, we want any project, whether it be six songs, 11 songs 15 whatever we want it to be like an experience and feel like worth it to put on from front to back uninterrupted so i don't know just something we want to make sure we do but yeah for sure and you guys exactly. created the ep in quarantine i know some artists are even shying away from creating new music or releasing new music in quarantine so was the process any different in respects to being stuck at home for most of it um, yeah, I think uh, the biggest difference was usually when we work on music, obviously we're in a studio with a producer together, like recording stuff, uh, and it happens pretty quickly. Whereas this, uh, because we're all separate from each other, you know, uh, all of the vocals actually are Braden and Dylan singing into their iPhones, sending those voice memos to me, me comping the takes and then bouncing those out to our producer friends who helped us work on it and produce the songs with us. So there was a lot of that kind of uh, back and forth process, emailing, like sending big files and whatnot. So um, that certainly was kind of a challenge, but also with like modern technology, low key was kind of seamless and, and fine. <laughs> Quarantine, has it hurt you or helped you creatively? I'd say it helped if anything right like yeah i mean i think like you know obviously the covid and quarantine has been you know really tragic for so many people um but you know has also forced a lot of people to be at home and spend more time doing things they wouldn't necessarily normally do so for us it's like mm -hmm. oh like we had time to work on these songs and these songs wouldn't exist the way that they do had it not been for the situation that we were handed so um, you know, I'm not, I'm not like, I don't want to say that I'm thankful for the quarantine, but we definitely like took it in stride and we're like, okay, let's, let's stay busy and be creative and, uh, just work on these ideas that we had been wanting to finish for a while that otherwise we probably wouldn't have. This year without quarantine, we were literally just going to be touring around the world all year long. And I don't think we've written a single song on the road before ever. So I feel like we... Like you like to think that you can get creative on the road and write songs, but then you get out there and you're just sitting around or setting up or playing and that's it. And like when you're done with the show, the last thing you wanna do is like, let's go write a song. So I just feel like it's, we definitely are, ended up like by making the CP we're in a really good place in terms of um, demos and writing for our next album right now. Um, and I think that wouldn't have been the case without quarantine, so yeah. And speaking of live shows, you guys just performed a virtual tour at the Roxy. So how did that idea come about? And did you guys approach it any differently than a typical show? Uh, yes, yeah, so the idea came about when we were just, I remember I was in uh, this very exact backyard and um, the idea was <laughs> proposed. And uh, it was the kind of thing where, you know, we, we obviously, yeah, can't play shows this year. and we have no idea when shows will come back to normal like the idea was like um to put on a show at like a proper venue under the proper guidelines and, and uh safety precautions and um you know we have a lot of friends of ours who work on our crew who are obviously out of work as well so we thought it could be a really nice thing to kind of get that energy back get our get our friends back with the proper testing and, and put on a couple shows and you know um broadcast into different parts of the world so they can have something to tune into as well so um but yeah w when it comes to like the approach of it it was very weird at first like the first show was super weird i, I remember being like whoa like 
no one's in the audience and this is so strange. But then as it kept going, we kind of got more loose with it. If, if, if anyone has seen the last show, show four, I get a little carried away during one song, but it's just all because I was comfortable. But yeah, it was a nice thing to do. I was happy with it. 